Hello there everybody, Professor J here, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, last time I said, after that exploit that I showed you, that I would try it a couple more times to see if the uh, guards ever won. Which, they do have, well, well, they do sometimes. Sometimes they die. Well. Um. They won. <laughs> so now I have armor that I shouldn't have this early on in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can have all the good armor you want if it's... If you're, uh... If you suck at the being a person, though. Well, not suck at being a person, but... If you don't know how to take advantage of it, you're just wasting your time. And I know I'm technically just wasting my time with this, but I don't care. Because I also got a lot of extras that I can sell and look at all the prices there, guys. Yeah, I can in immediately not have to worry about money. No, all those prices will be drastically reduced when I do sell them, but still. Okay, now where was I? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I didn't get that many... Well, I got a lot of different weapons, just I'm a bit of a hoarder, so uh, all doubles is what I'm selling. And everything that is kind of unique, other than arrows, mind you, I'm going to be keeping at least one of. So, yeah, I'm not selling any... Well, I am selling an axe and two daggers. And a shield. That's all I'm selling. But yeah, I made it back to Rate, and now I'm going to go sell some stuff. Uh, I'll be back when I get up to the castle, because I'm currently holding 316 and a half pounds of mostly armor. <laughs> and I got some food, too, but... I'll probably sell a lot of that. Just because. Eat the bread. Okay, I'll be back. I just thought of something. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I also leveled up a couple things. Um, my strength leveled up, so I got tight grip. Which, your, which my stamina will now not slow down in combat. Or my stamina regeneration, if I can read, right? <laughs> and so now... Ugh, sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, so now I can regen stamina quicker in combat. Um, I gained a level in agility, but I don't want featherweight right now. Because I don't plan on falling much. Let's see. Uh, every fourth level. 4, 8, 12, 16, 25 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Oh, never mind then. I guess I will take Featherweight. No point in saving them if there's only <laughs> the, s the right amount. Okay, combat-wise, I got a level in defense, so I got firm grip, which means my opponents now lose more stamina. I got a level in warfare, um, which... Bloodletter, or... Hmm. See, I don't like having damaged weapons. Every time I have one, I try to make sure... It is uh, well main or maintained better. A, they suffer better, and B, they do more damage. So I think I'll get Bloodletter. And swords, it's not really anything to do with how you handle the sword when you level up. Well, you do get better at that. But it's more of... Uh, combination strikes you can do. Mm. 
Uh, what kind of sword am I using right now? Shard. Short sword. Okay, then. And you do learn how to do these from... I wanted to say Sir Robard. That's not right. The guy who trained you earlier. I'll get Blunt Strike. And I think that's it. Oh, and I leveled up the main level, too. Don't know how... Well, I was getting a lot of stuff. I got ambushed once. Yeah, once. While I was coming back. Uh, I also looted the armor off the guards that died. So... Yeah, there was that. Anyway, uh, I'll be back when I'm done selling everything. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. <laughs> oh. Sir, 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 sir. Do you really want to make me angry? You really think that's wise? No, I don't. Smart. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. You're a pain in the ass, sir. Kunesh, you really are. Because, technically, I could say... I want to hear the info first, then I'll, demit, then I'll see if it's worth clearing your debt or not. Very well, then. But you're a pain in the ass, and you won't let me do that. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Probably should have talked to you earlier. Well, I guess I have another trip to Scalettes in my future. But not right now. Okay. I'm back from selling all the stuff. And, uh, well, <laughs> it caught me a tight and earnest 1.9 thousand uh if you want to be specific oh i guess it oh there it is <laughs> 1961 full and a seventh of another or rather seven tenths of another well it actually caught me like almost 2.5 k but uh there were a few pieces of equipment that I had to repair by talking to oh crap what's what's the uh, the armorer yeah the armorer because uh, I cannot repair any of these which sucks I can't repair either of these which is fine I have to get those repaired my, a different way. And I can't repair any of this right now. So, yeah, if I want any of that repaired, I got to talk to, to uh, well, either tailors, armors, weaponsmiths, or if it's in the case of shoes, cobblers, once they get to certain points. Now, I'm going to go up here talk to the I don't think it was bailiff was it yeah that's okay it is a bailiff 
That's so weird. I never I think that this is called a bailiff. Right? And see, see, if I was wearing anything else, well, anything that didn't look knightly, I would not have been called a knight. He just called me a knight because of the armor I'm wearing. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can okay. count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Bernard, that's his damn name. Uh, I couldn't think of his name for the longest time. I have. He trained me, and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Yeah. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. May the Lord watch over you. Ah, yes. I need to pick up some gear from the armory. It's not like I'm fully covered in... Oh, wrong one. In plate armor... Well, maybe not. Well, no, I do have a cuirass, don't I? Uh, bloody blah. Armor. Yeah. Uh, where's it at? Yeah, there. I have a cuirass already. Yeah, so I have plate armor on. And you're telling me to go to the armory. And I, I know I'm not technically supposed to have this already. I know I'm not. It's just... <laughs> it, it, you would think that after a couple days of this game being out, because this game's been out for years at this point, you would think, <clears throat> sorry about that, uh, you would think that they would have added a line of dialogue saying, oh, I see you're already fully armed. Better than our armory can do for you. But no, they still tell you to go to the armory. I'm not going to complain that much. Because A, free armor, and B, possibly free money. If anything's a double of what I have, I can just sell it. It's no skin off my bones. Or no skin off... I always forget, is it no skin off my bones or no skin off my nose? I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. Okay, this guy if gets it. If serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Yeah, see, this guy gets it. He sees me rock it up in full armor. Helmet, everything. Full plate. And he says, uh, are you sure? Are you sure you want this armor? You don't, you don't look like you need it. But, yeah. So, anything that's not equipped to me is the stuff I just got. So... A common bassinet, light padded armor, and a padded coif. Is it coif, coif? How the hell do you pronounce that? It's so bloody weird. And also, you would think, um, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? This. The noble's male coif, coif, 
however you pronounce that, I have no bloody clue, you would think that this would be a separate headpiece and you'd need some padding around it because you don't want to be wearing chainmail just raw on your hair. It's gonna, it's gonna pull, it's gonna... Mm, it's not gonna feel fun. As well as having it just on your bare face. Or neck, even. You would usually wear a f Oh, I'm an... I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I was just saying, you would usually wear something under it to stop that from happening. And I didn't even notice that I already was... <laughs> oh my gods above. Okay. I, I, I am a fool. But at least they are accurate. You don't... <laughs> it, the padding goes under the chain mail. Because, let's see... Uh, unequip this. Okay. Okay. Now. You see that. Take that off. Suddenly I'm wearing that. Take this off. Now. Let's see. If I put this on first. Will this show up over it? No, it doesn't. Why? Because it goes under the chain mail, which is awesome. They actually, these people are good with historical accuracy. I like that. But uh, I'm going to cut here and see a, how long the video's been going for. B, uh... Well... Well, no, there is no B. Just A, just see how long the video's going for so I can see if I can squeeze in going with Nightingale tomorrow or not. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> a bit of a snafu just happened as I was checking to see how long the video was going to be in the end um game crashed uh don't know why it just sometimes sometimes the games do that they piss me off when they do that but uh probably my error i did something wrong i will probably i will take full responsibility because eh, i probably did anyway um i was as I was looking, I saw that it was going to be a possibly long one. Well, possibly a normal one in my case. Because I like to do 30-minute videos. I could go longer, but I know that attention spans are not what they used to be nowadays. Heck, I don't have the best of attention spans myself half the time. Mo, were you just licking... Were you just drinking water out of that puddle? Okay. See? My point exactly, attention spans are crap nowadays. <laughs> so I was wondering, in the comments down below, I'm going to ask you guys, would you prefer me to keep doing 30-minute videos like I usually do? Would you prefer longer-form videos? Because I can easily go for hours. Oh my god, that motion blur. Oh, tell me that the setting I can change might be in graphics. I think it might be in graphics. No. Oh my god, it's not in anything. No. Okay, I just I, I guess I cannot look at Mutt's feet anymore. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, would you guys like me to do normal, my normal 30-minute videos? Would you like me to do my... Would you like me to try doing longer videos? I know that people don't like watching them, but I could do them if need, if wanted. Uh, damn allergies. Uh, or would you guys like me to try to do 15-minute videos? I can try to do that. I make no promises that they'll be as good as I want them to be. But if you guys want shorter form content, I will try to do that for you. 
But I think that's enough of me rambling for one episode, everyone. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And you could also consider subscribing while you're leaving that like. If you wish, I would greatly appreciate it. The more people that subscribe to me, it means the more people that are enjoying my content. Heck, even just people liking and just watching means people are enjoying it. Which is fine by me. So, until next time, everybody, this is Professor J, logging off.